All right, this is why I'm e eating it tonight, Taco Bell. All right. We're gonna do this on uh, pizza style. I'm show y'all how to order off the menu. All right. Can I have the uh, no. Can um do y'all still have it um the taco salad bowl? No sir, we just continue those. Okay, um so y'all have no bowls? We have the power chicken menu bowl. Alright, what's on the power chicken menu bowl? Chicken, lettuce, cheese, guacamole, sour cream, pico, beans, black beans are that. Okay, um, I'll take take the power bowl. Um, no beans. No beans. Uh huh. All right. There's also avocado ranch if you want that. Yeah, I'll try the avocado okay. ranch. Do you want everything? And there's rice mix as well. Do you want the rice? Yes. And can you? Uh, no, no rice. No rice. Uh uh. And can you um add um extra chicken? Extra chicken. Uh huh. What else can I get for you? That'll be all. Is your order look correct on the screen? Yes, ma'am. Like any sauce for your order? Uh, yeah, can I get um the hot? Hot and, sauce? Uh huh, hot and mild. And mild, alright? Mm hmm. Will that be all for you today? Uh, do sour cream come with that? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. That'll be great. Yeah, mm -hmm. Alright. This is how they get me my meal from Taco Bell. Let's see what, see what the deal is. Today I'm gonna be eating some Taco Bell. Look down in here. Hmm. All right. Let me see it over a little bit. Kind of messed it up. Let's see what it looks like inside. Fixing to this. Gotta do some fixing to this. And I'm gonna add me some more stuff to it too. Cause this is a hot mess. I think I slid it together some kind of way in the car. But I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna show y'all how it's gonna look when I finish with it. Welcome back to the Sea Witch World. I'm still working on um, showing people what to eat on keto, the keto diet that I lost 60, 60 pounds on. Um, today, I'm eating at Taco Bell. All right? So, if you don't know what to eat when you're, when you're out and about and you kind of run around the fast food chains and trying to find out something that you can eat, um, with some decent uh, stuff that's not a lot of carbs. So today I got what is called a power bowl, a chicken power bowl. And, and the chicken power bowl is chicken, cheese, uh, beans, which I didn't get, rice, which I didn't get, lettuce, pico, and um, guacamole, some guacamole sauce. All right? So... When I got home, I'll show y'all the video of what this looked like. Beef. Gotta do some fixing to this. And I'm gonna add me some more stuff to it too. Cause this is a hot mess. I think I slid it together some kind of way in the car. But I'm gonna fix it up. I'm gonna show y'all how it's gonna look when more. I finish it. Ah. Uh, get. I uh, made it look better. I jazzed it up a little bit. So, I added some more chicken. You know, I needed my protein. Added some more cheese, sour cream, and uh, some jalapeno peppers. Y'all know I like the jalapeno peppers. And I'm going to take, I got some, some sauce. All right. I'm going to add that on it. And I got some of their packets of their hot sauce too. And I got the mild. The mild gives a different taste than the hot do. So um, I like some of the mild. They only gave me one packet of the mild. 
But um, I also I sh um, also have some spicy pickles. Spicy pickles from um, Walmart. These things are delicious. They're hot though, but they are delicious. And y'all know I got my Pepsi. All right. So uh, first thing is like eating out at fast food restaurants is trying to know what's in the food that you're eating. All right. Um, they used to have a um, salad bowl that was similar to this one, and um, it, it was in a like a, a, a shell, like a taco shell type, but it was a big bowl, and that was really good. But the only temptation with that was you'd be tempted to eat that crispy crust on the outside, you know. So I'm glad they got this one where you don't have the temptation of eating that um, taco shell. So... Um, this is better. All right, I'm gonna start eating. It's the first time I ate today, y'all. I'm still doing OMAD. Um, people been asking me about keto, so I'm still doing some keto stuff, but I'm doing OMAD at the same time. And I'm gonna see uh, how much it is. I can eat this together. All right, it's gonna be jacked up too bad. Hmm. Today was a crazy day for me. Oh. Mm. And also, um, my wife's not here with me today. She had to work. She had to work over. Doing some more relaxers and hair color. Trying to catch up from everybody who was on the, um, was locked up on quarantine. So, trying to let her catch up on that. And, um, then hopefully she'll be back with me eating. Um, today we had to do this, the nose swab. Yeah, and I'm a, I got a video. So I'll go look at the video and I tell it in depth what we had to do with that. But I'm eating and I ain't going into all that. So y'all look at the video and see what that was all about. But. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. So, go check that video out. It's a short video. I did it on the way home. And, um, also, I got some papers that, of stuff that you can eat. And I hope that it'll show up. I'm going to put it into the video when I edit it so that y'all can see some of the stuff that you can eat. And there's a lot of stuff that you can have. Yeah. All right, y'all went. See, I got my glasses. And I also got the papers that I wanted to read to y'all, the things that you can eat. All right. Because you got this chicken on here, bacon, steak, pork, fish, lamb. Burgers, um, turkey, eggs, tofu. Um, in the dairy section, you can have um, cream, cheddar, cheese, Parmesan, Swiss, Kobe, uh, sour cream, yogurt, butter, cream cheese, mozzarella, blue cheese, etc. Um, you can have in the veggies, celery, spinach, radish, green peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, mushroom, uh, green peppers, asparagus, and even the fruits. You can have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, all types of berries. You can have avocado if you like avocado. You can have watermelon. Um, uh, but watermelon, you want to eat sparingly because watermelon has sugar. And cantaloupe, that stuff like that, you want to try to eat sparingly because it has a lot of sugar in it. In the next section, you can have uh, pecan, walnut. Um, pine nuts, sunflower seeds, su um, pistachios, that's my favorite, pistachios, sunflower seeds I eat when I'm watching TV, because um, I'm used to snacking, so I like to have something while I'm watching movies, because I usually have popcorn or some potato chips, so now I use sunflower seeds or pistachios, those slow you down while you're eating, um, and 
it's less calories on you. All right, and the next thing we got fats. You can have dairy, oils. Um, you can have lard, uh, avocado, uh, and in your um, and your sweeteners, you can have stevia, monk fruit, ethyl um, almond flour, coconut flour, and protein powder. Those are some things, and I have that. I'm gonna um, have that up on the um, on the video too, so you can see. And also, I'm gonna put another sheet up there as well, in between. And this is another sheet that a zero card um, keto diet list. Things when you go shopping, uh, make a list of what you can get, and you will have a better understanding of what kind of meals you want to build for yourself when you eat. All right, I'm going to eat some of this food, y'all, because I'm starving. I'm talking more than eating. People that like, there's some people that like to see you eat. So I'm trying to do keto, tell some about keto, and tell some about, and let people see you eat. You know, I always thought, yeah, um, it was kind of gross to see people eat, but some people don't have anybody. So, uh, YouTube people uh, become some like family to people that don't have anybody to eat with. And people that have a family like me and my wife, we forget that there's some people that they they don't have family. So you you know you're gonna eat with they eat with you. Mhm. Mm so. That took a different way for me to look at stuff like that. Um, people be asking me what I'm going to eat from day to day. So I know when I was doing the keto diet, um, I was trying to find people that was doing the diet and eating the same thing that I was eating at the same time. People can tell you about it, but... When you see somebody eating the same thing that you would eat, or eating the things that you need to eat, it makes a difference. And the only thing I can say is you got to find what works for you. Um, again, my wife was at work, so I'm hungry. So I don't want to come home and cook. So I was thinking about what could I have to eat. I'm just a pickle, y'all. I'm going to eat this hot, spicy pickle. What I could eat, I could get fast and come home. And I want to upload this video so people waiting to see what I'm eating so people can eat it with their dinner. They eat together with me. So, these videos that I'm doing is kind of like me eating my way through keto to keto loss. And you eat your way through keto loss with me. As I do it, we got different things that you can eat. And you learn a lot by listening and understanding. What you can have and what you can't have and stuff like that. But once you start eating you're gonna forget all about the stuff that you don't have and you're gonna be full. And you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy with what you have. And your weight's gonna start coming on. Your body you're gonna be content. Like I told you, always eat enough. Make sure, make sure you're content. Don't go to bed hungry. Eat enough food. And another thing that's important is try to get enough rest. Do not stay up late at night. Because if you stay up late at night, you're going to end up walking back and forth to the refrigerator trying to find something to eat. So, eat your meal, 
Be content with what you're eating. Be happy. And enjoy it. Mmm. This is a long piece of chicken. Mmm. The chicken that they put in here is flavorful. It's not a lot. And I got extra chicken in mine. But they're mainly very flavorful. I gotta admit that. But the bowls could have been a little bigger. Now, it probably would have been bigger if they had the rice and the beans in there. But we didn't have rice and beans. Mm -hmm. So, if y'all got any questions, let me know. Put them in the comment section. So, um, some people were asking me for some recipes. Again, try to stay away from the recipes right now. Wait till you get the feel that you can get the diet down pack. Eat stuff like this. That you can go and order or put together. You can do this at home. You can make your own taco salad. You can put beef. You can put pork in it. You can put chicken in it. Don't um you can order all this you can get all this in the store. Only reason I did it because man, I, I had a lot of this stuff at home. Cause I was in a rush trying to get home and trying to upload these videos so that the people that eat with me will have it by their dinner time. And I'll be pushing into that. Yep. But y'all go and watch that video about what we had to go through today to get our nose swab. Huh. Mm. It don't make no sense. We just got to go to in some places working. Mm. I like the sauce. I love this sauce. Come on, get this everywhere. I know some people be grossed out by looking at somebody eat, but everybody love a little company. So, and then some people, you'd be surprised with stuff that you can help people do. A simple thing like this could keep a person out of depression, especially in quarantine. They're not around any family. Or anybody, they can really get you down. So, this is good, y'all. I'm getting full, and I haven't eaten all day. This is all I had all day. <clears throat> I have to push myself to eat more than this because I need to eat more calories than this. Um, and that's kind of crazy. Somebody thinks if you eat less calories, it would be better. My calorie c content a day is 1,700. Um, and I got to try to get close to that. Because if I don't get close to that, it can trick my body. And my body will stop losing weight. But if I get close to it, my body will drop weight. Excuse me. It's a funny thing how your body works. If your body thinks it's going into starvation mode, it won't um, allow you to lose that fat that you need to lose. So, sometimes it'll click off. But if you eat up to the amount of carbs that you're supposed to, then your body will be fine. Well, y'all, I'm doing pretty good on this. I don't want to make this video long. Hmm. 
People is mad. If it's too long. I enjoy talking to y'all. If there's anything, if you need some help from me, let me know. On this diet. Or OMAD. I'm going to be talking about OMAD too. You know, just eat one meal a day. Um, old man had been a sustainer to me. You know, keto is good, but old man has been a sustainer to me. And keep my carbs, not for my carbs, keep my calories, deficit in order. So, if you need anything, you ask me about the diet. Just let me know. And I'll be glad to answer your questions. I hope I didn't forget nothing. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging in there with me on this journey. And I tell you, as I eat my way and tell y'all how I lost the 60 pounds. Um... Don't be so hard on yourself, but stick with it. Stick with it. If you get off course, get back on course. Stick with it. You know, you can do it. If I did it as an ordinary person around the corner or wherever, or most any, most people that know me, if I do it and can do it, you can do it. You yeah. know? So, Thank y'all for watching, and love y'all, peace out, have some good vibes, and I'll see you next video.